morning. So I'm here again. Nice plug. So I'm here again with my Weber T460. I just did about an hour or so ago the box of the bench run of this engine. And I was not real excited about the top end RPM that I got. So what I've done this time is I pulled the belt off and I've uh, moved this gear one tooth over and put it back on because the Weber manual says that you might get better performance going either one tooth clockwise or counterclockwise. I chose to go one tooth. Uh, if you look at it from the front, it would be clockwise, which I think relates to the position that it was in for the other engine I had. So let's run this real quick and see if it's any better. Okay, so I did a field timing adjustment, and I put the, ti the timing tooth off one point this way, or one tooth off this way, so let's see if that, how that affects this run. Okay, so for whatever reason, this engine just does not develop the same top RPM with this 13.6 prop as the newer one that I had a week or so ago. Um, and on these runs, these two runs here, now the very first run I had that timing two set at top dead center, so they were lined up. Uh, the, fir this, the first run of this video, it was off by one tooth this direction, and it was not any better. So I went off one tooth this direction, still about the same. I didn't see any kind of performance change at all. Now the interesting thing in the Inya manual is uh, it also talks about glow plugs and one, I think they said a colder glow plug is better for top end and a hotter glow plug is better to get a good idle. Um, I'm not really sure where the OSF plug rates. I think it rates in the cooler range. So I should have been getting the best top end there and you could hear that it was pretty rich and bumbling at the low end, but my pinch test looked like it was set pretty good. So um, I think the next step for this thing is to get torn down and put in my ultrasonic cleaner and uh, we'll do a look inside. So thank you for watching.